Hello and welcome to BPC 110 Computer Usage and Applications. My name is Sarah Beakley Mersill and I'm one of the instructors here at Scottsdale Community College who teaches this course. This video will serve as a short orientation to the Canvas Classroom and how all BPC 110 courses are set up. Right now you are looking at the home page and within the Canvas Classroom you will see several links home, announcement, syllabus, modules, grades, and SCC library. This is your navigation menu to your Canvas classroom. These links over here in blue, these are the larger global navigation links to the Canvas LMS, Learning Management System, itself. So if you're taking more than one course, whether it's from SCC or a sister campus, you could click this dashboard link and that will take you to the main landing page and you'll be able to see links to all the courses you're taking. Two other links over here that are important to point out would be the calendar and the inbox. The calendar is great because it shows all the due dates in every Canvas course that you're enrolled in this semester. So you can filter out and just look at one course or you can look at multiple courses and it will also show the courses if you're enrolled in sister colleges. The inbox is the internal messaging tool for Canvas. We like to send messages to our students, and it's also very easy for you to send us messages when you have a question. What's really nice about the inbox is your name is always attached to every message, and we, the teachers, know exactly what student and what course that message is coming from. If you see that you have a number above your inbox uh, in orange or yellow, that just shows you how many unread messages that you have. So it's important that you click on that link, read through all the messages, and clean out the inbox at the start of the semester. Coming back to Canvas, let's take a little tour of what you're looking at. So on the home page, up here at the top, you will always see the three most recent announcements in the course. As this video is being created at the start of the semester, there's only one announcement posted. Over here on the right is the to-do list. This is great because it shows you any recent announcements that have been posted and upcoming due dates. With hyperlinks, or links to click on, to take you directly to that content so you can complete it, read it, or do whatever you need to do. Something to be aware of is that something to be aware of is that the information is listed by due date, but then it is listed alphabetically. So it's not always listed in the order we want you to complete it. The best way to look at how to complete items and in what order is over here in the center under these modules. In Canvas, each of these gray bars are called modules. And so to see what's inside them, you just want to expand the module. And I can click the little arrow or I can hover over the name of the module and click it. And you will see it expands several pages. These little, uh, these links here, these are called pages. We build our courses in a linear fashion. So the idea is that a student will click on the first link and I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And then you will start from the top. You will read all the information. If there's videos, you'll watch those. If there's links, you can click on those. And when you get to the bottom of the page, you'll see there's a next button. If you click it, it takes you to the next page in the module. So again, as a reminder, my name is Sarah. This is for my class, but all the BPC 110 courses use the same structure. So just be aware that the information for your teacher will look slightly different. To get back to the home page, I can click on home. It's always a good practice that when you're done reading through or completing information within a module, just go ahead and collapse that and that hides it and it keeps this digital space clean and easy to navigate. The first steps module is common to every Canvas course at Scottsdale Community College. In fact, every Canvas course at SEC will have a welcome and a first steps. It will also have the same navigation menu. Some courses have one or two additional links but for the most part, we all use the same navigation structure, structure at Scottsdale Community College. The content under First Steps contains common student and academic support services and general information to help you be successful as a student. So make sure that you check this out. If we scroll down, you'll see that there's several modules with weeks. Now, for the BPC 110 course, we do not open all the work on the first day. There are more than three weeks to this course. So depending on the course that you're taking and the time that you're watching this video, some additional modules may have opened. But we only keep one to two weeks of work open at a time uh, so that we can help students proceed through the course and be successful as they complete the material. If you have several modules open, 
let's say I have a lot of pages open, what happens is you can see a lot of scrolling is happening. So what you can do to make your life a little bit easier is there's a collapse all button up here at the top. When you click it, it just collapses all the modules and makes it a little bit easier to navigate to where you want to go. I'm going to dive into uh, module one, uh, which is the start of new content. And so just breaking down how this module looks and what you're looking at, um, at the start of a module, there will always be an overview. We always include a glossary of terms. This is going to have key terms that you should be familiar with as you complete the work. And understanding these terms will help you when it comes time for the final exam at the end of the semester. Seeing what these look like, I'll go ahead and click on this link and you can see here are all the learning objectives for the next couple of weeks, for the first couple of weeks of the course. So when you're done with this unit or this module of the course, you will have learned how to do everything that's listed here. And if we want to look at that glossary of terms at the start of each module, so there are five main modules in the course or five different learning units. Like I said, we have a Word document that we create and you can download this by clicking the download and you can click the link to open it up. I'll drag this over here. And so you'll see this is a Word document. Um, if I scroll through it, you can see these are all the terms that you need to, you should be familiar with as you complete the content for this course. The idea is the student will either download this document, print it out, hand write out the notes, or you can complete it electronically. You will not be turning this in. This is for your study purposes only, um, and it's gonna help you with the final exam. All right, I'll click on home to go back to the beginning. Going further into the module, at the start of every module, you'll see that there's weekly reading. So these links take you directly to MindTap. MindTap is uh, the additional learning tool that we're using um, in this course. And it, it is your ebook. It has links to all of your assignments. And then you'll see there's weekly activities. So most activities come from MindTap, but there are some additional assignments that we put in the course that are custom. Anytime you see something that says course notes, this is additional content that's not in your textbook, not in your e-text. It's additional material that we want you to be familiar with. So it's important to read through that. You can take notes on it. If you really want to print it out, you can. And like I said, you can click next to go to the next page. All right. And then I'm just going to open up this module down here to show you that some assignments, so for the example, uh, if you're taking the in-person class, this is an assignment we're doing in person. If you're taking the class online, you might not see the words in class next to it. Same assignment. If you click on an assignment that's not part of MindTap, MindTap is that tool I was talking about. Some assignments you create, or some assignments you will complete, and these are custom assignments we've created. We always find instructions in the assignment. I, um, you can download the instructions or read the instructions on the page. You want to follow those. You'll turn in an assignment, and then there'll always be a grading rubric attached to that. So you can see this rubric is very simple and short. Either you completed the assignment or you didn't. All right. I'll collapse all. One other thing I want to point out, or two other things I'll point out, are the syllabus and modules. The modules link is the same as the home link, except there is no announcements and to-do list. So if you prefer a clean looking environment, definitely check out modules, but there's no difference between modules and home. It has all the same information. And then the final link I want to show is the syllabus link. This has obviously a link to your syllabus, which you can download, and it'll also show the due dates that have been shown to the students. So as you saw earlier in this particular class, there's only three weeks of work open. So you can see all the due dates over the next three weeks. As the semester progresses, your instructor will open up more weeks of work and this list will grow, will grow longer. So it's important to keep coming here and checking it out and this will help you manage and plan your life. With that, we come to the end of this short course tour, course orientation. I hope that you are excited about BPC 110. I know that we are all very excited to teach you this semester and see how much you learn. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let your teacher know. And welcome to SCC.